Before we start the video, I just want to say to the subscribers that I have that I'm not going to keep doing camera videos like this. This is just, you know, because I got a new 550D and I'm a little obsessed with it right now. When I get back to America in less than a week now, we're going to start making some awesome videos, so stay subscribed. Alright, in this video we're going to talk about the differences between the Canon 550D and the Canon 7D. And you've probably already all seen the YouTube videos where they say that they're basically just the same, but the 7D has more features. But in this video we're going to show you what those different features are and how they can apply to photographers versus videographers. Alright, and the first thing you'll notice about the 7D is that it is quite a bit larger than the 550D. And this is what it looks like without the battery grip installed. Okay, the first feature that is a little bit different on the cameras is the white balance. And on the 7D, all you have to do is hit that button right there. And it brings up that menu. And it has custom just like the 550D, but if you scroll over to the right, it has the Kelvin settings. It goes from 2500 all the way up to 10,000 Kelvin. And the 550D does not have that feature. And on the 550D, when you're in movie mode, you press the Q button to bring up your little menu there, and then you just scroll with this button here, and it just has all the presets like that, and the custom mode. Alright, and uh, one feature that the 7D has that the 550 doesn't even have at all is uh, the leveler. You can use it in video mode, it comes up as an overlay while you're in live view, and you can use that when you're on the fly or on the tripod or whatever. And it also has it in full screen on picture mode switch over to picture mode and pull that up to full screen. It does horizontal and vertical. Okay, on the 70, <clears throat> when you're recording in video mode and you have live view up you, and you're in full manual mode, you can change the aperture by use of the aperture wheel. Just like that. Which is a lot easier. On the, on the 550D, what you have to do is hold down the AV button right there above the Q, hold it down, and then use this to scroll to change the aperture. So it's a little bit easier on the 7D. On the 7D, switching from picture mode to movie mode is a little bit simpler than it is on the 550D. It's just that little switch there. On the 550D, it's, you have to turn the top wheel here all the way around to movie mode. So it is a little bit easier on the 7D. Okay, on the 7D, um, when you uh, want to record in manual mode, um, all you have to do is rotate the dial to, uh, to the standard manual mode and be in uh, your video mode. When you want to shoot in automatic mode, um, you can just rotate that dial there to P, and uh, and that will give you a full um, automatic uh, movie capture mode. Whereas on the 550D uh, or T2i, you have to go into the menu and change the settings from automatic to manual or vice versa. All right, and that's all the differences between the two cameras as far as video goes. So now we're going to show you the differences that would concern photographers. And one of the big features about the 7D that's different from the 550D is that it shoots at 8 frames per second. Versus the 550D, which shoots at 3.5 frames per second. Another thing about the 7D is that when in picture mode, it can crank up, you can crank up the shutter speed all the way to 8,000. On the 550D, it can be cranked up to 4000 in video mode, and that's the same regardless of what mode you're in, it can still, it's only 4000, does not go up to 8000. All in all, it's more customizable. Um, you can see here that uh, I've got a lot of options in my, um, in my menus. Um, I can actually change um, the, the buttons, what they do. Uh, one other thing to note is that the 7D has a built-in speed light transmitter. Uh, which means it can communicate with um, Canon Speedlight 430s and 580 EXs. On the bottom right here, you'll see there's this little cap. If you peel that away, you'll see a little set of contacts. Um, you can get a wireless uh, transmitter, um, which means that you can shoot directly from here to an FTP site or to a computer located somewhere else in a studio, something like that. Uh, you can control uh, the 7D from a laptop wirelessly, which is pretty cool. All right, last but not least, the features of the two cameras. The 7D uses compact flash, which is faster, and the 550D uses SD cards. And they, they try to tell you that you need a class six or higher to shoot video, 
but my own personal experience is if you get this brand, Sandus Extreme, uh, you can shoot actually in class two just fine. Okay, and that's all the features that we could find difference between the two cameras. I'm sure there's a couple more that we missed, but basically uh, the 550D and the 7D both shoot the same quality of video and they shoot the same quality of photographs. So if you just want a DSLR for video only, the 550D would probably be the better choice because it has the same quality as the 7D. But if you're more of a photographer, definitely go with the 7D as it has quite a few more features than the 550. So thanks for watching.